can see, the title of this uh, video is How I Got Scammed Out of $27,000 Twice. So I actually lost $27,000. I didn't lose $54,000. But when you watch the video, you'll understand why I said twice. So back in March of 2017, someone hacked into my um, computer. I think, I'm not sure exactly how they did it. Maybe they add, added spyware and got access to my computer so they could kind of see everything I was doing on my computer. So they saw my Chase bank account logon and they got access to my Chase bank account and they wired eight um, amounts out to somebody, either themselves or they sent out eight wires. It was 4.01 p.m. my time. I got this email saying your account you sent out these wires, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, a lot of them. There was eight of them, totaling $36,000. I think I noticed it closer to five o'clock, the email, and I got a little alarmed. I went into my account, it just didn't look right. So I, I, I called Chase right away. So within an hour, I even have my, and the automatically generated email from Chase. On 3.27 at 6.05 p.m., I called. This actually says, thanks for calling about transaction you don't recognize. Your claim number is this. And then this gives some basic information. So the claim's open. So I caught it right away. Go, I go into the branch the following day, my local branch. I know pretty much assures me that transactions haven't gone through yet. It's still processing. It takes two days. Stop it. No need to stress. Because it's a pretty stressful situation. It, I mean, I'm a small business. I'm not a billion dollar bank. $30,000 is hits me pretty hard. And not, not just the money, just the fact that someone could see everything I was doing on my computer and then could totally ruin everything. I mean, it, it, you feel really exposed, like taken advantage of. But that, that was... But just the, the money aspect, Chase is pretty confident, at least the banker was pretty confident. Don't worry, we'll stop it. And even if it did go through, that's our job. That's why you go to Chase, we'll protect you. Because I got a phone call from some girl and she said to me, why did you take $5,000 out of my bank account? And I said, because you stole this from me, this is fraud. Uh, what do you mean I took $5,000? What she did is answer the job post on Masa.com and her job uh, was to receive $5,000, withdraw that money, and then Western Union it out to somebody. I mean, it doesn't make sense, because it doesn't matter where you live, I could pay people in other countries, it's pretty easy. Um, she's a college kid, she didn't realize what she was doing. When I con contacted Chase, Chase contacted all the banks that the money went to and reversed everything. So this girl received $5,000 into her bank account, Cash the money out and then saw the reversal, she panicked. She doesn't have $5,000 and the bank said, we can't do anything for you unless you get a police report. So she went to the police um, in Florida where she lives. She got a police report. She was able to get the bank to listen to her and close the account down. She's not really responsible for that. She doesn't have the $5,000 anyway. So I'll just show you what, these are what the hackers did, and maybe this can help someone identify this so you don't get screwed, and I don't get screwed, or a business owner like me doesn't get screwed. The, fraud, the fraudsters, whatever you want to call them, she received these instructions. You have the following amount, 5,003 USD. And one of the transactions is 5,003.83. Actually, her name is there. I cross it out because these are these aren't like crooks, these are people who got con, like me, so I don't want to put their names on the internet, so I crossed them out, but her name is there, Mary, I'm going to call her, the, the college kid, 5003 USD, it includes your bonus payment for correct and successful completion of the tasks, in case you have not met the deadline, the bonus payment will be cancelled, please read the instructions carefully, print them our, I'm reading this verbatim, I think they meant out. Print them out or copy accurately. Part one, the amount $4,900 necessary to complete the transactions has to be withdrawn from ATM or your bank account in cash. Cash is capitalized. Therefore, you have to visit 
your bank in person no and I capitalize online transfer accepted so they don't want any kind of like uh, any kind of um, way to track it as limited as possible so they wanted to get actual cash when you withdraw the funds from your bank please remember to honor confidentiality see handbook and employment agreement to avoid any misunderstandings and delays the bank will probably ask you the origin of the transaction of transaction you should answer that it is a private remittance step one Western Union agreement Assignment. Recipient, Ruslan Efremochkin, 2000 USD. So she had to take 2000 cash to Western Union to send to Ruslan. Oh, nice enough to give her banks she can go to in Florida, in her local area, to, to, to get the actual money and to do all these transactions. So please visit any Bank of America branches. For example, there were more and please put the funds in cash 2900 USD to recipient Mad Cats Inc LLC these are all fake companies and if you look at you can't find them anywhere recipient address 4330 Southwest 11th Street Coral Gable Florida recipient bank account number and they give a bank account which is inactive now um, bonus payment for this task is 103 USD so she sent $4,900 out, the 2000 Western Union, 2900 to this bank account in Bank of America. So the 103 left over is her fee. In case you complete the task successfully before the deadline in three hours. So obviously they want to get it done real fast. They don't want to wait a day because then I notify my bank and then they'll never get their money. They want to get it as quick as they can. So if she does it within three hours, an additional bonus payment, 100 USD, will be added to your next coming salary. So I'm sure she did it in three hours. Please confirm that you have understood all the instructions in, in details. And, and she sent the Bank of America statement, $2,900 that she had to put into this account. This is hard to see the Western Union receipt. It's $2,000 minus $115 transfer fee. I guess that's Western Union's fee. So, and I even have the snapshots of her bank account showing the negative balance. So she cut, I mean, if this is not proof, I mean, I'm not just saying it's obvious fraudulent activity because I didn't do it myself, which I didn't do it. I wasn't lying to Chase, of course, I didn't do it. But I'm have, I have someone who did the fraud, who give me all the information. I mean, I don't know what else, I need to prove this is fraud and this is filed with this the sheriff's office it's, it's a legitimate police report so she filed the police report on March 30th 2017 at this time officer X I crossed that out responded to this address Estero County Florida referenced to report a fraud Mary did some online research and found my business because she saw I was, I was on the wire. My company name was on the wire. So she Googled that company and found me. Thank God she did, because I have all this proof. If without this, and Mary provided the information about the company she worked at, my company. And then it says, Mary will forward to Officer X via email all the documents and information. And it says, Officer X was assigned to this report and made contact. Actually, this is a higher up officer who was assigned to the case because it was a large dollar amount and made contact with Mary. Um, it was such a large dollar amount because not only was $5,003 deposited into the account, but Bank of America also noticed a lot of activity. Police in Lee County had to turn over the case to the FBI who are investigating it further. Unfortunately, I have, a, I have not been able to get anything from the FBI about the case, but I'm still trying to get information and I may do a follow-up video if I get more information on that. So, so this is all the proof in the world. I mean, first of all, I shouldn't have to prove to Chase it. If I'm telling Chase, I didn't do it. So I woke up, I remember waking up one day on the 25th of May, two months later, with a negative $27,000 in my account. This is really blown up. I panicked. I was really concerned. Because when something like this happens, 
when when you get when a lot of money gets stolen from you or you get a, feel like you've been taken advantage of every day i'm looking at my chase account thinking it's gonna happen again even though i wasn't expecting it to really happen again i it's so traumatic experience and it did again uh, I got a huge chunk of money came out of my account so i'm going nuts I, I i go to my banker no chase didn't call me chase didn't email me chase didn't notify me they just took the money out you know last time they took the money out the fraudster took the money out i get hit with an overdraft charge right of course chase makes me whole i mean i'm not a millionaire i don't have tons of money this i could have i could have been overdrawn and i have to pay employees i have to pay rent if I'm not overdrawn that day, I'll be overdrawn within a few days. I have to pay those bills. Nobody even mentioned anything to me of Chase. It was just a negative $27,000, which wasn't the amount because it was around thirty six dollars that actually was taken out. So I went to the, my banker, like three hours with Chase. He was called everybody in the fraud department. The retail bank, the place you go to the bank, it's a totally separate business. It's almost like not even Chase. They're one's Chase, one's Chase 2. Two totally different companies. They talk to each other just like I could talk to Chase over the phone and in person. But when you have a huge bank, I worked at Chase in New York City um, in the corporate office not definitely not this and something totally different but in these large huge huge companies they're so separate nobody knows what anybody's doing so anyways he calls a fraud department he finally he keeps elevating it over three hours almost talks at, at a, as higher a, per, a person he can talk to they pretty much said two months of investigation what we uncovered was it came from his uh, logon his, his chase logon which was true I, I agree it did come from my logon and it, and, it, and it came from my IP address. So it looked like it came from my computer, from my job. So th that's two months of investigation. I have tons of investigation and I'm just a guy looking for it. They're a huge company that probably deals with fraud cases on a daily basis in millions and millions of dollars all the time. That's all they said. That's all that all they we came up with. This is not fraud. And I and I finally got a letter from them because I you know I got a lawyer involved. Several thousand dollars in lawyer fees. Thirty thousand dollars. So if I pay five thousand lawyer fees, it's worth it. I guess. Um, so I finally got a letter from them because my lawyer wanted at least something. So that them saying that they they weren't going to give me my money. And the letter's dated May, May 18th. And you can even see the transaction was May 25th. I, I, I mean, maybe they put a letter to May 18th, but I have never gotten it. Um, so they dated it a week before they took the money out. I wish they would could have told me this. Dear, that's my company. And it has a date of inquiry, which is interesting, 4-6. And you saw all the records. I submitted it on 327. The inquiry was on 327 before anything went through. It's 4-6, which is well past, but whatever. They dated it 4-6. We've thoroughly researched your dispute and wanted to thank you for providing your information. That was nice. They, they thanked me for giving, for doing a ton of work and, you know, stress, losing sleep. We decided the account transactions you reported on 4-6. I reported on 327 or 328. We decided the account transactions you reported were correct. So they're saying the, the transactions were correctly done. We will reverse the temporary credit. So what Chase does, they automatically credit me the money once I open up the fraud case, saying that I'm correct. They do their investigation, and if they say, okay, it was fraud, they would not They would say, we're done. But in this case, they say, it's, it, it's not fraud, so we're going to take the money back. 27, 317, spot 18, and this is 27, 342, 18. So this was nice. The $25 fee for the transact, they, they, took that, they took that back. They took the fee back. That was good. The banker said, don't worry about the fee. Um, so we've, we've included a summary of your transactions. If you have any questions or would like to request the information we, we use for our research, please call us anytime. Sincerely, Chase. Originally, there was eight transactions. They reversed six. I mean, reversed two. They let six go through. I don't know why they reversed two. I, keep, I get conflicting stories. What, I, I'm told that certain banks will reverse the money and other banks won't. And then another story is I get, depends on your timing, when you reported the activity, if you gave it enough time. I reported all the same day and they reversed two out of eight. And the one that they apparently reversed, the 5003.83 from Mary's account, I'm getting hit for. I'm still paying this because this is part of the, the 27,000, part of the six. So so why did, why did that money get reversed in Mary's account? So so I, I, what can I do? I'm just, I'm just a, a small business owner i'm not a billion dollar bank so i what i should have done from the start is file a police report even not to get my money back that's just what you're supposed to do because if these things happen more and more the police have record of it so i should have done this from the start i'm naive never been in the situation so i caught i went to the police on may 31st a few days after they, they took the money out even a police officer asked me who did who took the statement he said 
would you report this if Chase didn't take the money back? I said no, because I didn't even think. I thought it was between me and Chase. I didn't even think to waste the police time and if, if everything was cleared up, but I, I guess I should have done this from the start. But anyways, I reported, got reported he was a victim of multiple counts of fraud. With my total loss of $27,000. And it's just kind of similar to Mary's report. It's just a breakdown of all the information, a breakdown of the charges. And the police officer said, I've never heard of a bank giving you the money then taking it back. And apparently that if it's a small dollar amount, they'll just give you the money. But if it's a large dollar amount, like over $1,000, this is a lot more than a thousand dollars. They make it really, really difficult to get your money back. And and the way I felt when I first got frauded out of the twenty-seven thousand dollars, that's why I say twice. I, you know, it really bothered me, and I felt exposed. But I felt I have this bank protecting me, which was nice, because that's what, that's what I thought they would do. And I and I thought I and I pleaded with them, you got to stop these transactions. Don't even let them go through. Don't let that go through and pull it back. Just stop it before it goes through. But they didn't stop it. But I felt 10 times worse when Chase took the money back because I expect the fraudsters, this is what they do. I didn't expect Chase. I feel like they forwarded me because pretty much when I came to Chase, I said eight transactions went through and these were fraudulent activities. They didn't come from me. Two months later, Chase says, the activity was correct. It did come from you. So pretty much Chase is saying I'm lying. So that's why it just feels so much worse. You think you have a relationship and, and a trusted bank and they don't trust you at all. They don't even want to hear anything. It's just so hard to get through to anybody. And, and the way I think about it, if you ever watch those TV shows, Intervention, those shows where people have these traumatic experiences and they need to find something to self-medicate. So people turn to drugs, they turn to alcohol, something else, maybe something violent to make themselves feel better. And I always look down on people like that. I'm like, if I was in a bad situation, traumatic experience, I think I could handle it. I don't think I would turn to drugs. That would make things worse. But like there were times, I know, I don't do drugs and I rarely drink, but there were times throughout this event that I felt so hopeless that I wanted something, an escape. Of course, time heals all. So take advantage of. Now I feel a lot better as time went on, but I could totally understand why people do that. Why people turn to drugs or alcohol or other vices. So I'm doing this story, of course, to get it out there to help others and to maybe even put pressure on Chase. If this got a lot of views and people shared this, people may connect with me or maybe this has happened. Because if I was a lot of people, I know a lot of people, if $27,000 came out of their account, that's it, they're toast. They can't spend $5,000 in lawyer fees to try to get that, debt. they're done. They just have to accept it. I was able to get a lawyer and we're, and if we ask Chase to relook at all this information again, they said they will, I'm not sure if they will or, or if they'll turn it around. But if they don't give me my, my, my money back, we're gonna proceed with a class action lawsuit because this has probably happened to a lot of other people before. And to, for Chase to try to ignore as much as they can so they take my money is just unacceptable. So the summary of everything is I got $30,000, $27,000 stolen out of my account. I told my bank, I reported to my bank. My bank turns around and says I lied. They took the money back. So. So we, so we have to live in a world where anybody can go into your computer, virtually get access to your computer, steal money from you, make it look like you did it, and, and that's it. I, I'm, I'm not putting my money under a mattress, that's what they did in the Great Depression, but going through this, you start to question things, and if anything like this has happened to you, please email me, leave, leave a comment, share the video, because maybe we can, we can fight someone like Chase. We can put pressure on them and we don't who, who wants to feel taken advantage of i sure don't i know how it feels and i'm sure you don't either so uh, thanks for watching